I don't vlog. <laughs> the daily vlog? What, what do you think I do here, filming you? Oh, is that what this is for? Yeah. Hiya. <laughs> yeah. Hiya, love. Never too early. Oh, Never yes, too Hello, mate. I met Natalie Tester. Did you? Yes. <laughs> Natalie Tester. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. I shouted at you. <laughs> we don't have to do this now. We can. I know, I'm not really let's, good in Let's. We can both be on camera. That probably makes it easier for some people. So Natalie runs our paid team with uh, Chris and Kerry. Mm -hmm. Three, four months ago, she had a little baby girl. Molly. Yeah. I'm tester. leaving around three-ish, so I need to get back to the baby. What baby? Oh my god! Oh my god! This is her kit today, which is keeping in touch. They are going through plans for next year, resourcing the team. We need to future-proof ourselves, make sure we've got the right people uh, to take this on, and also look at um, the structures of the team as well, and how we can be even more analytical. Um, I'm going to admit something. I have no idea what paid is like i've heard it a million times i and genuinely it just washes over me here's a riddle for you if you go into a shop mm -hmm. you take something off the shelf and then you leave it means that you haven't that one's stolen no you haven't i haven't take something off the shelf and leave it means that you haven't yeah paid give it paid it's paid the next segue on to this. Yeah, yes. paid is the next paid segue media on. yeah I'm now going to go talk to someone about paid media. Paid oh, media? I like that. Yeah. Where are we going? To the meeting room to do our paid office day. Paid office day. Yeah. Oh, all the paid team. Way. Way. You joining? And we have a bit. Hello. Hiya. Hi. 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 Carrie. Carrie and Matt. Uh, nice to meet you. Hello, I'm, I'm going to make my biggest admission. Hmm. I don't know what paid is. You mean the biggest opportunity for the GOAT uh, agency uh, in Group M in 2023 and 2024? Yeah, whatever you call Influencer it. Influencer-led paid media. <laughs> yes, I don't know what that means. It allows us to push content further to, to new audiences. It allows us to use the functions that the platforms give us, i.e. like go and buy now, learn more, etc., etc. It's now one of our biggest delivery functions. Who else knows about paid? Would Emily Hall know about paid? Oh yeah. Do you know about paid? Yeah. This is the first time he's ever asked what paid actually is. Do you get what paid is? Yeah, I do. Is it something that is sold in at the beginning of a campaign? A client comes to us. So what we do is we look at their KPIs, their objectives, what type of product it is, what kind of audience it is. So what paid can do is target niche audiences that organic influencers might struggle to get to. So if we're doing like a city specific or age specific, it's good to have the paid media to do that additional targeting that the organic influencer audience might not, you know, target as well. But what we do is we use those influencers to tap into their engaged audience in those places. So if we're doing a, you know, major UK cities, one Nottingham, Birmingham, London, Manchester, Plymouth, we're gonna use influencers from those areas to tap into their engaged audience. We've been working with Uber now since 2020 with some like really small burst campaigns here and there. We did the Bring It campaign, like Bring It 2.0, Bring It 3.0, and then we've come up with a big brand ambassador campaign now, which is running over four months in wow. 14 cities. We already started in just seven cities and just from the success of month one, they gave us seven more cities and more budget to work with for the rest of the year. It's insane, it's so good. And it was just a testament to how smooth everything was running. So are there even 14 cities in the UK? It performs way better than branded content. Way better. Okay, I believe you. Got all the case studies. It's not designed to replace brand paid media. It's not designed to replace branded content. It's designed to work alongside it. And it's about working with clients and, and other agencies in the group to go, how can we add influencer and add influencer paid media into the scope of like what they're doing on campaigns and what they're doing with clients that is not only going to produce better results, but it's going to be better for the business overall. Our model is outcome driven. So we guarantee level of outcomes. It's great for clients, it's great for agencies. We do a fantastic job. It's working collaboratively with brand campaigns to add that layer of authenticity, that layer of trust, that layer of peer-to-peer -peer recommendation. You know your shit. I'm an okay. old man, I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> I still need to dig a bit deeper. I get the concept now. What, but why are we like better at it than other people? Is there a specific? Because we know how to talk to our audience. And also we create amazing content through influences that we're working with. I but think, I look, if you want to make a product cool, don't use paid, because it can be a bit like in your face. You want to like just have influencers talking about it, making it look good, like making it feel like FOMO effect. Mm. That's what I think of influencers, is they're really good for being like, I want to be part of that, that's cool, they're talking about it. Paid media is when you want to, you know, come in a few weeks later and say, you know that product you saw, here it is. Do you like the funnel? That looks like a science project. 
the example is, in terms of awareness, you're meeting your friend for a coffee. Yeah. You're intrigued because you notice her hair is nice and it looks so shiny. You're like, what the hell? What are you doing? And then she tells you it's this new shampoo she's been using. So you've gone down the funnel. That's already happening in real time. So your friend is your influencer because influencers have a really authentic vibe compared to a brand, right? If you see a brand saying, buy our stuff is great you're like duh you'd say that because that's your product not a peer-to-peer -peer recommendation no exactly that's why paid at go is so effective because it's done through that peer-to-peer -peer recommendation it has that human touch and it's super authentic so it's often delayed a del you know a yeah we definitely you can't go in with your acquisition focus immediately you need to build that awareness consideration they need to have seen it a few times like think about that purchase and then the paid is almost like the gateway to come and make that purchase we're making it easy for you this is your direction London, Manchester, Birmingham, Leeds, Nottingham, mm. York, um, uh, Newcastle. Yeah. Uh, well, what are we on? Let's go. To, let's go up. To Brighton. Brighton. Mm -hmm. but let's go up. To Edinburgh. Yeah. Glasgow. Yeah. Sheffield. Sheffield. And then another one. They won the Premier League ages ago, and it was like a Leicester. massive thing. Yeah. How many more have we got? One more. Harland, Belfast. Well done.